Hi folks, it's William Everhart with eLearning Uncovered. And in this vlog post, I wanted to demonstrate one of the newer features found in Articulate Storyline 360. Now this particular feature actually came out in August of 2019, kind of late in that month. But I think it's a really cool little feature and it really didn't get a lot of fanfare, I don't think. So I just wanted to shine a little light on this feature because I think it's absolutely incredible and it's a huge time saver. Well, here I have a little project about cars. And one of the things that I want to have is a progress meter for my learners. So I'm going to jump to another slide here and we can see there's a little gas gauge, kind of a retro gas gauge down there at the bottom. And I'm going to use this throughout the course to let the learner know where they are in this course. And in my case, I want to go from a full tank all the way to an empty tank. Now, you can do this a number of ways, but I like using imagery for this because I can get a lot more details in it. And that's where this new feature comes in. This new feature allows me to take multiple images and then convert them into a multi-state object. So let's take a look at the process. So I have this meter, this little graphic here, on a master page. So let me jump to that. I'm just going up here to view. I'm going to choose my slide master. And so here it is. In this case, it's an image. It's a PNG file. And when placing it on the slide, I get a singular state, the normal state, just like we would when we place any kind of object in Storyline. And normally the process would be that I would go down here, I would choose edit states. Then I would add a new state. I would give that state a name. I'm just going to call this number one here and I'd click add. Then I would go up and make sure that the object is selected. Go up here to picture tools, format ribbon, go over here, choose replace picture, picture from file. And then I'd go find the next image and then open it. And then I'd have to do that again and again and again. Now, if you only have a couple of states, that's not a big deal. But in this case, I have 11 different states that I have to go through. So that is going to get very tedious very fast. So this new feature just does away with all of that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete that last state that I created. And instead of using the um, create new state button, there is a new button here and it's called insert pictures as states. I'm going to click on that. And instead of just picking one picture, I'm going to select all 11 of these gauge pictures. And then I'm going to choose open. And there we have it. So they're all inserted. It's using the names of those files. So I was very careful to name my images, you know, what I wanted them to be called as a state. And so there we have it. Now, the only thing left to do is to add the logic that will change the state of these meters as the student progresses through the course. With all my logic in place, let's go ahead and preview this course. And so as we can see, we've got just a basic slide here and then we get started with our little gas gauge. So here's our first fact, we're on a full tank of gas, but then as we progress through, notice the little needle just starts moving further and further down, reaching our goal of an empty tank. Well, there you have it, folks. Creating a multi-state object from a collection of photos. This wonderful new little feature found in Storyline 360. Now, I hope you found this entertaining and informative and that you can put this to use in your next course. So until next time, this is Wave Everhart saying, stay curious.